Hey everybody, welcome back to the series, our PowerShell Fundamentals. In this seventh video, we are going to be working with these wonderful things called PS Providers and PS Drives. What I want to do is help you navigate around all the different directories in PowerShell to see the gold that you can find within these wonderful things called PowerShell Providers. These are the things that bring us access to all the world of the Windows environment. Let's us find everything we need so we can start manipulating and adjusting and setting and using PowerShell actually as a tool that it's intended to do. They work part and parcel with these wonderful things called a PowerShell drive. And that is the way we navigate and manage through, work through these providers. And I'm gonna show you how you can actually build your own custom PS drives inside PowerShell to make your administrative world a lot simpler and a lot easier. Let's get after it. What I'm going to do is open up my PowerShell environment and you can see that by default I've been dropped in the Windows System 32 folder. Now you and I know that as computer users you probably can close your eyes visualize exactly where I am inside my Windows world. If I were to browse my Windows environment you'd see that I could very quickly go to my C drive my Windows folder, my System32, there it is. I'm seeing my folders, my directories. And if I did a get child item, okay, which I know is the PowerShell equivalent to DIR, and that gives me a list of everything inside those folders, well, that's exactly what I'm looking at. I'm looking at all the contents and I can take a look at anything in here, see the contents. I could now manipulate these things. I can play with the properties. I can delete them, remove them, copy them, do whatever I want to do, which is super handy. And that's fine from a file folder perspective. But what about if I'm dealing with something a bit more specific? Like maybe I wanted to, um, you know, deal with the registry, for example, right? And we we know that we 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 access the registry via reg edit. Look at all the gold in here. I uh, my current user, my H key uh, local machine. There's tons of information in here, and I know that inside each of these folders are things like settings, for example, my mouse settings. These mouse settings are objects that PowerShell knows contains values that I can manipulate. So within this subfolder here, I know that I can change a lot of these things. But how do I get here from here? Well, I gotta figure that out. And the same thing with something like, um, oh, maybe I wanna edit my group policy. Um, Right inside here, I have all sorts of group policy settings that allow me to manipulate and set policies and guidelines associated with my Windows world, locally or domain-wide if I'm an administrator. But again, settings, all sorts of values, everything I wanna be able to get to. Well, PowerShell, I can't get to those through Windows Explorer, but I can get to them through PowerShell. And I have to learn first off how to navigate. Well, I know that I'm inside my Windows location. Perfect, I, I'm in my Windows System 32 folder. Um, in the last video, you saw me set my new location to a path on my desktop. And I used the PowerShell language to navigate to my C drive, uh, my 300 folder on my desktop. There it is, a DIR or a get child item, right? That uh, tells me exactly what's on my desktop right now. Um, if I were to want to navigate further, I can use all my basic command line tools. So for example, I could go CD, uh, one of the, one of the, so, so CD is the, is the, um, shortcut of set location. So uh, it's one of the shortcuts I do like to use change directory. Let me move up a level. Well, most of you know from navigating windows, CD dot dot. Okay, takes me up one level. If I want to go to my users folder, again, cd dot dot takes me one higher. cd backslash takes me all the way to the top of my root directory. So I can move in or out, I can move in here. But PowerShell lets me take a look at what I'm dealing with here by, by IntelliSense. So the beauty of it is that I can always just use the dot which is my relative reference for where I'm standing and the backslash and it tells me my, um, my, my paths that I've got to work with. 
So for example, if I want to go to my, well remember I was going to my users, okay, and my 300 folders. So that's exactly how I got here in the first place. But PowerShell is even more intuitive than that. What happens if, um, if you go back here and you look at this particular command, uh, there were no commas or, sorry, no, no commas or apostrophes or quotations or anything like that around there. But what happens if I wanted to navigate to something like the C drive documents and settings? Okay, now there's spaces there. That's a little bit trickier. Look at how PowerShell automatically wrapped my parameter around with uh, quotation marks. It knows that those spaces in between the words document and 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 settings are going to cause me a problem. So it has actually already helping me out. Inside my inside of my documents and settings, I have other types of folders as well, but PowerShell is trying to help me there. But with change directory, uh, which is set location, and I have some relative relative movement as well as things like uh, get child item, I now can move and see exactly where I'm at. A DIR shows me what I've got to work with. I could move into banner or local data or program files or whatever I want. Okay, so now I know how to move around, but how do I find information? Well, PowerShell interacts with the environment via these things called PS providers. And you can find those by looking at the command get PS <laughs> provider. Okay, notice it's singular. And what it tells me is that there is a provider that PowerShell can talk to for all of these areas. There's our registry of environment variables. There's our file system that we're used to. Functions or lists and variables within PowerShell. So I have a provider that is is cataloging and working with and documenting and getting all this stuff ready to adapt this information to what I will see as a file structure. Okay, so you'll often hear PowerShell providers as 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 called adapters, and I like that definition because that analogy knows that I'm taking something like the registry and I am adapting it to a file structure that makes sense to me. For example, I have a file structure on my computer. It starts with the C drive and the D drive and the F drive, and, and I can I can navigate a drive. The, the adapter within PowerShell, the provider, allows me to navigate the registry via drives. There's our PS drives right here. And there are two of them for the registry that are there by default. HKLM, HKCU. Oh boy, I remember those. HK local machine, HK current users. Okay, nice. So that means that I can navigate to a drive. Let's use get ps drive as a command and let's take a look at those particular drives as well those drives are listed here and so now i can see all the drives that are associated with the particular providers and some of them are, are like my c drive there's my file but there's a whole series of drives here that I can navigate to. Well, I can go here and I can actually go to these locations. So let's actually go to my, I'm gonna change directory to my HKCU uh, drive, because if I were going to C drive, I'd put a colon after it. Same thing with HKCU, I'm gonna do that. And now I am in what is the PowerShell equivalent of my registry. So I can now see that if I did a DIR, Okay, well, guess what? I'm looking at all the same things that I saw when I opened up my reg edit command. And this is where all my values are. So for example, I can do, oh, there's my control panel. Uh, let's do a change directory and go to my, okay, I can use my dot too if I want to. Okay, there's my control panel. Perfect, let's do that. And let's do another directory check. Okay, if it's too much, Okay, I can slow things down, but um, there is all the f uh, all the file folders 
associated with the registry settings associated with that section of the registry. That's cool. Okay. Oh, there's my mouse. Okay. So remember all those particular things that we were looking at um, in my registry, there's the values right here. Okay. So PowerShell is seeing them as items that I can navigate to and then therefore change. And we're gonna look at how we can actually modify those values in the next video. But right now it's just a matter of navigation. Let's go CD backslash and that'll take me back to the, to the root of my PS drive, which I know is being provided by this special adapter um, in my registry. And let's change to, let's go back to my C drive. Okay, and now I'm in the file service, the file system provider. So remember that as I get, as I get my PS provider, right, I can see that I have all these different places. Now, if I were to expand and take a look at the help associated with it, I'd see that all of these have different uh, capabilities because they're different types of things. And so we'll dive into in the help all the elements associated with what these capabilities means, but because they're all different types of objects, they can all do different types of things. The most important thing you need to take away right now is that these registries exist, or sorry, pardon me, these providers exist, and then these are connected to these things called drives, PS drives, that we can now absolutely navigate to and create where we're after. Okay, so Essentially, what we're trying to do is figure out how to get to all this, all these cool items via our PS drives. So now we know how we can generally navigate. We figure out what a provider does. I can find the providers in my PowerShell environment using get PS provider. And I know that I can use get PS drive as a way to show my particular drives that are connected with those providers and I can navigate to those drives. But I can even go farther. I can make my own drives. I can make my own environments because I have the power of a series of commands associated with that. Let's take a look at what commands I have to work with. I'm going to type in, let's type in, how about PS drive? Look at that. There we go. So I do have a commandlet called new PS drive right there. And that means I can build my own. Let's do that. Remember how difficult it was for me. It was such a time consuming thing to set my location uh, to my path of my desktop, right? Well, that was kind of a nuisance to for me to get there. But when I get there, right, it, it does help me work in the area that I want. I'm gonna go, so so again, I'm gonna hope this is the last time I have to do this, desktop. There's my world, and take a look at my, take a look at my uh, cursor there, my prompt is telling me where I'm at, no problem. But what I wanna do now is I wanna use this new PS drive command, I wanna build my own. So if I were to look at the help, I would look at, um, I can look at the help, which tells me all the parameters. But if I do a dash, I can see those parameters that are used to me. Uh, if I wanted to use my help, my first thing I would do would be help uh, new PS drive dash examples. Let's see what I got here. And I've got a whole host of examples here that tell me exactly how I can build different things. Temporary persistent map drives. Okay, so here's a great one right there. Let's see if we can follow this. This right here will let me use the file system provider to create a drive called P that goes to a specific file location. Awesome. So that example tells me exactly how to do this. So super helpful. Thank you very much, PowerShell. Let's build our own. I'm going to I want to build a map location to my desktop that I don't have to navigate to. I can get there really, really quickly. I'm going to go new PS drive and let's start with the name. The name I want to call, I'm going to call it home. Sure. That's all I'm going to do. I want, this is where I want to work in my PowerShell environment, just temporarily, or at least for, for my, 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 um, practice purposes. And I want the provider that I'm gonna to use to be the file system because I am mapping this to a particular location in my world. Well, where is that location? That is in the root of my C drive, followed by my users dash or, or slash 300 desktop and bam. So that has created a new PS drive using, it's called home, 
and I'm using the provider called file system. I have a variety of file systems there and or, or providers and one of them is file system and I'm using the information within that route to create that mapping called home. Now I have this wonderful environment that I can navigate to. I can go cd home colon and look at this dir there I'm in my directory I can see exactly where I'm at by simply seeing what's there but look at my prompt now it's home it's simple it's easy so anytime I want to get there I could navigate around but a CD home gets me there quickly because I built that drive now unfortunately as we know PowerShell is session based which means anything I build things like aliases and yes PS drives are only there in the life of the session so sadly if I close this up and open it back up And I tried to do a CD home. It's not going to be there. It's not there. But if I were to quickly rebuild that PS drive name home dash provider with the file system followed by the root, which is the root path is users 300 uh, desktop. Now I'm there, CD home colon, I'm set. Now again, not only did I build, uh, not only did I build it, PowerShell's recognizing it. When I say get PS provider, I now actually have in my file system provider, that special home directory. So PowerShell's totally seeing it. And of course, if I did get PS drive, there's my special home folder. That's the one that I built using the uh, file system provider. It lets me get there nice and quick. Unfortunately, it's only good until I close this session up. So we are very close to actually solving this problem because very shortly we're gonna be building something called a profile script where all of this can be included and we can have this power, we can have this set up when PowerShell loads. So that hopefully made a bit of sense to you. Uh, I'm sure you where we're at here with this. What I was trying to show you was how we can do some basic navigation around PowerShell using the set location command and some of its aliases. Uh, but more importantly, I wanted you to understand that these things called providers exist. They are adapters. They connect us to all those special worlds inside the Windows environment registry, group policy settings, environmental settings, um, all these elements give us a chance to see them, see these areas in the way a file structure would be laid out. So it's taking the registry information and, and translating it into something akin to a file structure so I can access it using PowerShell drives. So PowerShell providers are adapters that let me get to specific areas within my computing environment like I were accessing it if it were a drive. And we now know how to build our own because we can build our own custom environment. PS drives are often one of those things to help us make the navigation far easier. Hopefully that helped. We're gonna carry on. I will see you in the next video.